Hello friends, welcome to another session of video tutorial on robot framework. If you are an existing subscriber, thanks for all the support. If you are a new visitor or a regular visitor to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. To subscribe to this channel, click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video, you get the updates. In the last session, we have seen how to make use of resource files. In today's session, we are going to uh, touch base on one of the important aspects in test automation which is synchronization um, synchronization is an important topic uh, wherein you know some pages load slowly and some pages load quickly it again depends on a lot of different factors like uh, the network speed your computer processing power um, and the browser which you are using uh, some browsers may uh, render it slowly, some browsers may render it quickly and also the technology uh, which is involved in displaying those web contents on a browser. In Robot Framework, we can achieve synchronization by using um, timeouts, waits and delays uh, which is what we are going to look at in this particular session. As an example for um, looking at the synchronization part, we are going to take a look at uh, the same website which I have been using all along um, in all my tutorials. And here we are going to take a look at the dynamic loading link. And inside that, there is example two, element rendered after the fact. And I'm going to click on this and click on start button and it loads it takes some time to load this particular text i will make use of this complete url rather than you know going to the home page and clicking on two different links uh, to come to this page so i'll make use of this whole url okay and going back to pycharm so we'll close this and we are going to create a new robot file right click new robot file i'm going to call it as wait time delay okay so it creates a robot file with all these settings test cases and keywords so i'm going to delete these I'm going to keep the sections but i'm going to delete all the other contents okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to one of the files which we have previously created so i'm going to take out some settings uh, settings part from there and some of the keywords like initialize and Close down. Okay, so that's all I need for the time being. As I said, I'm not going to use um, the home page, so I'm going to directly go into the page which I'm interested in. So this is the URL for that. I'm going to paste it here. When it opens, it opens up with this particular page. Okay, so let me put this test case down here. Okay, and let me create my test case. So the test case is Okay, I'm going to call this as check sorry test dynamic web content using wait delay and timeout. Okay, so the keyword which I'm going to call it as, you know, uh, with the same name. 
so you can call any name so I just chose to use the same uh, keyword same name as the keyword okay so this is the keyword I'm going to create so inside this keyword all I need to do is go back the first thing is uh, whenever I load this particular page uh, so it will have this button so I need to click on this button to click on this button so right click inspect and this is a button uh, containing text start so let me get the X part of it and it's a div containing button and containing text which is start okay let me copy this and go back to PyCharm and then click button this is a built-in keyword followed by two spaces and then the X path so it's going to click on this button now and after clicking the button we need to check so all I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take the text out of this so for this um, again inspect okay if I look at this so that is getting replaced with hello world and this is again inside the div and it is of h4 tag containing text which is hello world okay so I'm going to just get text out of this so get text which is again a built-in keyword followed by two spaces and then the X path okay so during initialization it's going to open the browser and it's going to go to this particular URL and then I'm calling this keyword so this keyword will run this which is click button and get text okay let me save this so earlier I had shown you how to run this particular robot file by right clicking and going into external tools but today what I'm going to do is I'm going to make use of the terminal which is available inside PyCharm so here I will click on terminal and this will go into okay I click on terminal and it will directly go into my project folder and I'm gonna make use of a robot command here so let me run this robot and the file name wait and the robot gets okay, opening the browser goes into this particular okay the test failed here because it says the element with locator and not found okay so it clicked on this button and it didn't wait for this particular element to exist so this is where our first synchronization part comes into picture which is I'm going to add a delay here okay the first synchronization which I'm going to add here is sleep sleep followed by I'm going to make it 10 seconds okay and I'm gonna save this and go back to terminal and rerun this okay 
earlier the test failed because it couldn't see the the element there but now the test case the same test case passed after adding a sleep so that means after clicking this button and before the text gets displayed so there is some delay so we need to synchronize there so that is why I added a sleep here but bear in mind we shouldn't be using sleep in any of the test case because even though the test exists it still slept for 10 seconds so the text existed after say 7 seconds but it continued to sleep for 10 seconds so this is sleep is not ideal to use in any of the scripts this is one of the synchronization methods uh, which can be used okay so I don't recommend to use sleep what it will do is before this statement gets executed it's going to sleep for 10 seconds okay so this is the first type of synchronization suppose say there are many statements after this after sleep now I have two different statements which gets executed now whether the sleep is applied to two statements no it's only the statement which comes after this after the sleep the sleep is applicable only to the statement next to sleep and it's not going to wait after getting the text and printing the log for 10 seconds so it's only wa waiting for get text to appear so I'm going to comment this out okay so what is the other strategy which we can use apart from sleep as I said sleep is not a good idea to use okay the next thing which we are going to use is implicit weight okay so there is a keyword called set selenium implicit weight and this will take again I'm going to add 10 seconds okay so what this set selenium implicit weight will do is it will wait for this particular element to exist on the page for 10 seconds okay if this exists before 10 seconds then it will not wait for 10 seconds say it existed this particular text existed on that particular web page after 5 seconds so it's going to cut from 10 to 5 and then move on to the next statement it's not going to wait for 10 seconds as soon as it exits maybe after 1 second 2 seconds then it's going to continue executing the next statement I'll execute it again one okay you can see there's a difference between sleep and uh, implicit weight so implicit weight weighted only till this particular task uh, text existed on that particular web page as soon as it found this particular text it, it went to the and next statement so this set in uh, selenium implicit weight will be for all the elements on that particular web page just for testing purpose so I'm going to change this to I'm now looking for get text uh, which is containing hello world with the bank and at so in this case what will happen is it will wait for this particular text to appear for 10 seconds if it doesn't then it's going to come out by giving you an error okay let me save this and rerun this
okay the test existed but it's not the right text and it's going to fail okay so in this case it waited for 10 seconds which is specified here and it couldn't find this particular text on the web page that's why it came up with an error here okay as I said this is applicable to all the elements the next one which I'm going to talk about is set selenium timeout set selenium timeout okay so here I'm going to make use of say again 10 seconds here but instead of get text I'm going to make use of wait here wait until until element is visible okay wait until this element is visible okay I'm going to change this back to the original one and for the time being I'm going to comment this out to check okay clear screen and then run it again okay so this particular test case failed because wait until element is visible so for this particular element to be visible on the page uh, it's going to wait only for five seconds so this is the default time set but in our case the element was visible only after seven or eight seconds we didn't wait long enough for this particular text to appear um, since our default wait was 5 seconds so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait here by using set selenium timeout as 10 seconds so that means now instead of waiting only for 5 seconds so it's going to wait for 10 seconds okay save this and so let me read on this so now you can see that the test case passed because earlier the default wait was 5 seconds now it is set to 10 seconds since this uh, uh, set selenium timeout uh, works only with these keywords so let me go back to the original keyword which is get text and save this and rerun this see even though we set this selenium timeout here um, as 10 seconds it didn't affect this particular keyword so this is only used with the wait keywords okay so it is always better to use wait keywords and set selenium timeout rather than using sleep here the recommended way is to use wait until or uh, the keywords starting with wait okay so this is another way of synchronization okay let me comment that out 
let us look at another synchronization method which is using selenium speed okay so for that I'm going to use set selenium speed followed by 10 seconds so this is another way of synchronization let us rerun this and see what happens okay before I explain Did you notice anything unusual there? So what happened here is uh, once set selenium speed to 10 seconds for before every action performed, so it waited for 10 seconds. Even though the button was button, even though bu the button was even though the button was available, uh, it didn't click until it waited for this. So this is applied to all the operations like click button and then before getting the text so even though the text was there and the button was there it still waited for 10 seconds so this is not a recommended way to have this particular wait for each and every action or each and every keyword so before running each and every keyword it's going to wait for 10 seconds so which is not a recommended way the only recommended synchronization keywords are set selenium timeout and set selenium implicit wait and set selenium timeout is used with the keyword starting with wait and this is the implicit wait which is it's going to wait for that particular element before if it performs any operation as soon as the element exists then it's going to perform and continue with the next action that is the end of this session thanks for watching if you have any comments suggestions please post it under comment section under the video i will see you in the next video